Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Tuesday, May 12th, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading dated for the 12th of May, that does not mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that is the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I hope you guys are having a good week so far. Um, yeah. And yeah, let's just, let's just get into it, guys. <laughs> Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Tuesday, May 12th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, let me give this a few shuffles, and then we'll see what we've got for today, yeah? One. Tuesday, May 12th, 2020. Collective energies. Channel, channel. Two. Oops. Tuesday, May 12th. Tuesday, 12th, 20. All right, what's up today, spirit? What would you like to discuss with us today? Okay, we have so far, ooh, okay, the hanged man with awakening. And then we have the prince of summer, mm -hmm. the knight of cups. Okay, Seven of Cups, oh, well that's good. We have the Five of Cups in reverse, we have the Seven of Wands. Uh, it seems, it seems someone has gotten so over something. <laughs> With this Five of Cups in reverse and the Seven of Wands here. It seems someone has gotten over something. And then you have the Ten of Cups. Wow. Okay, wow. Look at all this cup energy. Nine of Cups is at the bottom of the deck here. <clears throat> you have... <sighs> the only thing... Oh, I get it. I was going to say, the only thing that's really confusing me or tripping me up here is the Seven of Cups. But ultimately, what I feel like, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you. This feels like a romantic relationship. And if y'all know me by now, then you know that I'm not trying to focus on love here specifically. I mean, of course, if it comes out, it comes out. I, that's what my page, well, but I mean, I, I, I just now recently started doing like official love readings and those are over on Patreon. Okay. But this, I mean, and this doesn't have to be a romantic relationship for you. Um, obviously this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates, but at the core of this, it feels it feels romantic, but at the same time, it doesn't have to be romantic because it could be family that you're dealing with here. All right, so there is a change in perspective that has happened or that is happening, okay? But as this, as it feels, as it looks right now, it feels like the change in perspective has already happened. You have awakening, which is also the same, which is um, the hanged man here, all right? This says, change the way you're looking at the situation. Embrace your uniqueness, a temporary pause in the action. I do feel like there is a pause in the action right now, for sure. And that's coming in with the Seven of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and also the Five of Cups in reverse. 
But the reason why this, what I, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> the set, the, the, the seven of cups being here was a little confusing for me at first because there was, there's all, there's all this strong, confident, even, even secure energy in this, in this reading here, especially with the five of cups in reverse. But then I looked at it a different way. And what I saw was a blockage from uncertainty. I feel like the individuals or the circumstance or the relationship that you are, that you have gained a change in perspective on is probably a situation that is pretty chaotic, um, can be very confusing, lots of smoke and mirrors, things are always up in the air, you never know what's going to happen next. There just feels like there's a lot of uncertainty in this situation, which is challenging, sure, but also is not something that's ideal for you, okay? This feels very much like an energy of someone um, doing what's right for themselves, doing what's best for themselves, and quite frankly, removing themselves from any sort of uncertainty. Because I think what the change in perspective you've received here is, with Awakening or the Hanged Man, I, I feel like you, you've come to the understanding that you're never going to really be able to find your ultimate fulfillment. You're never really truly going to be happy. You're never really truly going to feel safe, sound, secure, cared for, all that stuff, if you still have all of this uncertainty here. I mean, at one point, this might have been fun for you. At one point, this might have been exciting. Maybe when you were younger, maybe when you were in like, maybe say your early to mid, maybe even your late 20s, something like that. Um, you know, depending on how old you are now, it, it, age is not a thing. It, it just feels like Someone has matured here to the level where you you would much rather stability, boundaries, happiness, fulfillment, joy, than constantly wondering what's coming next. Seven of Cups. Does that make sense? Um, with the Five of Cups in reverse here, this kind of feels like two things, only at this point it feels like it represents releasing or removing yourself from whatever this was but also in the past it felt like the five of cups was in reverse throughout the duration of this relationship or this circumstance i guess i want to say because it was it was perpetual constant heartbreak constant disappointment constant pain constant you know there was constant something was there was always something to mourn, always something to be upset about, always something to be disappointed about. And, I don't, and I'm not saying that to, to the extent where, you know, someone is necessarily creating all of that, right? Um, or, or is someone is like a Debbie Downer or like a, someone that's always down in the dumps. They're always depressed about something, but they do it because they're looking for attention or something like that, or some sort of approval or, or, or validation or something like that. No. It was a product of the relationship. It was a product of the circumstance. It was a natural byproduct of the situation. And so with the change in perspective here, someone, I think really someone started to realize that the only way they're going to find themselves not dealing with this Five of Cups, this sorrow, this heartbreak, the, 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 the mourning, the always something always something going wrong or something like that the only way for you to get away to get away from that energy or get out of that energy was to say no more of this seven of wands boundaries to the seven of cups no more why because i want to be happy ten of cups i want to be happy and i'm going to move forward with where my heart is calling me towards knight of cups and at the bottom of the deck, at the overall energy, you have the nine of cups, which is wish fulfillment, dreams coming true. 
And what this feels like here is your wish fulfillment or your dream coming true is the fact that you are free. Or you're in the process of freeing yourself. Definitely in the process of freeing yourself. I can feel that. Some of you might actually be free. Okay, that's great. But others of you are definitely in the process of freeing yourself from this situation. And it feels like you've, you've achieved the initial change in perspective to really get things going. So, I mean, obviously we're all in different parts of our path <clears throat> at any given moment, okay? But So you could be anywhere here. You could be at the initial awakening stages or change of perspective changes. You could be well into making your move. Excuse me. Now, there could be someone around you that's being super dramatic about it and is trying to throw up all kinds of smoke and mirrors. Like you, one person here could be in this seven of wands, being assertive, not backing down, you know, standing up for themselves and holding boundaries. The other person could be in this seven of cups energy of smoke and mirrors. Let me throw all these different, all these different possibilities, all these different options, all these different whatever's just to throw you off your game so I can so I can break down your barriers break down your walls your boundaries and weasel my way back in if you have someone around you okay this is pretty specific if you have someone around you that um is responding or I should say reacting to you or someone else throwing up boundaries um asserting themselves, being very clear and very decisive about what they want, um, saying no, whatever, and the other person or whomever they're, re they're communicating with or, or, or dealing with starts throwing all these different what ifs, well, what if this, what if that, what if this, what if that, just keeps like, it, it, it feels like this person just keeps throwing a barrage of different things and jumping all over the different place and and saying and, and and speaking to one thing one moment and then when they realize that doesn't work they switch they change their position and speak of it in the opposite way the next moment it's like they're trying to they're trying to confuse you they're trying to throw you off your game they're trying to overwhelm you so that you break down and you release your your hold on your on your point of view on your perspective you release your boundaries and then they can get back in and start to take advantage manipulate whatever this this feels like a very manipulative person and what i'm feeling right now is that that there either there has been a moment or there will be a moment where you're going to be asserting yourself and they're not going to like it and they're going to do everything that they can to try and throw you off your game but you've come too far for that at this point because you've had this change in perspective here. It's like you see everything much clearer than you ever have in the past. And so now it's like nothing can really sway you. The seven of wands energy is much, or seven of spring, I should say, is much stronger than the seven of summer or seven of cups energy. There's more, uh, I want to say it's more substantial. The seven of spring, the seven of wands, it's more substantial. There's more weight to it than, say, the, the smoke and mirrors, the barrage of smoke and mirrors coming from the seven of summer or seven of cups. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I also want to tell you, keep your heart in the forefront. Your heart is leading the way here with this knight of cups energy, the prince of summer. In this deck is the Knight of Cups. And I see the Knight of Cups as an energy of moving forward with your heart leading the way. I often see the Knight of Cups as, an, an, as a heart chakra awakening. Um, but it's also, to me, it's like an energy of living with your heart on your sleeve. Um, allowing yourself to be vulnerable sometimes. Um, maybe even learning to be vulnerable. Learning about vulnerability. But also, in, the, but in this situation, I'm just seeing you moving forward, right? Because knights move. Knights are often messengers, just like the pages, but often knights can be messengers as well. Um, so knights can denote or can um, speak to movement. 
Um, and I just feel like this is you moving forward and your heart is leading the way. And I feel like you're very confident here you, with this, with the seven of wands, the boundaries, the strong, these are strong boundaries, you guys. These are very strong boundaries. And I feel like these might be boundaries that you may not have never have ever had in your life in the past, or you've never had the strength, the balls, the gumption, the cojones to, <laughs> to assert yourself the way that you are now. And that's a beautiful thing. But you see, that's also triggering to someone that has been manipulating you for so long. It's extremely triggering. And I mean, we don't have to go into the details of, that, of why that is. I'm sure you know why that is, but it doesn't even matter. But I'm like, I, I, I kind of want to say congratulations on being able to stand up for yourself so much. Because this feels very strong, you guys. This Seven of Wands energy is like you... It, this is very much like... Um, Gandalf in um, Lord of the Rings uh, with that that big monster he was fighting where he, when and it's in the in the very end of the movie he and then the beginning of the second movie he's he's all like you shall not pass like it's that <laughs> it's that kind of energy it's it, that's how strong it feels okay uh, okay cool so so let's move forward Two things I want to talk about here. First one is the five of summer or five of cups in reverse. Um, I want to look into the energies of that. And then I want to look into the energies of the seven of cups because I almost want to like give you guys or give somebody here a heads up on what that could be or what that is, depending on where you are in your journey. But we are going to start with the five of cups in reverse. This feels like someone here is finally like, someone, uh, one sees the pattern, sees the cycle, see, and it's like, okay, no, I'm out of here. I'm not, I'm not doing this anymore. Like, it's like you, you, you've been watching it happen over and over and over again, trying to figure out how you can get out of it. But now, but now as you start to see it come around again, it's like, well, wait a second. There's nothing I can, I don't, I wonder what it, I wonder, maybe we'll look, well, maybe we'll get that answer, but I wonder what it was that caused you to see that, to recognize the pattern. And maybe, maybe there is a way to fix it. Maybe there is a way to stop this pattern, stop this negative cycle. Um, but maybe you or the other person is not willing to go through with it but also it's it's very what's part of this awakening or change in perspective here for you is that you're starting to understand or you're starting to at least allow yourself to accept the fact that you can't change someone else's reality for them because this does feel like this five of cups energy was perpetuated at the hands of another person Another person that's very low in vibration, always uh, uh, very much, um, and this is an archetype, so this it doesn't have this doesn't have to identify. All of this doesn't have to resonate with this one person. It could be bits and pieces of it, but what I'm the archetype that I'm feeling here is very much the victim, very much the person that that looks to play the martyr in certain situations on purpose, not for the fact that they're trying to do something good for someone, but because they're addicted to the drama, they're addicted to the dysfunction, they want the accolades, they want the recognition, they want the they want someone doting over them. They like to play the poor me type of energy. Potentially, this just feels like a very low vibrational individual or a very low vibrational circumstance. And I don't say that to pass judgment on anyone. I'm just saying that this is just what it feels like and what it's coming across as what it seems. And so in that type of energy, in that time of environment, of course, you're going to be stuck in the five of cups. Oh, sorry, that's been glary the whole time. You're going to be stuck in the five of cups all the time, constantly perpetual and that would be why this would be in reverse because either a reversal can be a release a reversal can be a blockage or a reversal can be something that you're actively working through in the moment these are all ways that i understand a reversal as a reader what this feels like in this situation is a blockage something that is rooted in five of cups energy and you just can't seem to find a way out well, it does look like you have found a way out for yourself. 
Oh, well, let me rephrase that. It, you just, it just doesn't seem to stop. That's what I meant. However, you have seemed to find, you have changed, there's a change in perspective here for you that is allowing you to rise above. And all of this is in service of you moving forward towards what your wish fulfillment, your happiness would be, right? Okay, yeah, uh, five of cups or five of summer in reverse. And then we'll look at the seven of summer. But let's see here. Why do we have this five of cups in reverse spirit? Why do we? Spirit just goes, Eric, you explained it adequately. <laughs> All right. I think. Okay, that's fine. So then instead, let's look at the seven of summer, because actually this can, this is actually worrying me a little bit. Well, yeah. Okay. First of all, look at what's at the bottom of the deck now, the devil. Okay. Now here's the thing. Okay. So, so five of cups in reverse. This is very much a devilish energy. This is very much someone choosing to give their power over to the devil, toxicity, narcissism, destructive energies, blah, blah, blah. This is someone literally giving their power away, allowing themselves to be powerless. For, for what reason? Don't ask me. Well, you're the psychic. You're the one that gets into people's heads. Honey, that is not my job. <laughs> and quite frankly, I really don't want to know. All we need to know is that this is toxic it's been a toxic cycle it's been codependent but here is the thing and this is what you the person or at least the person that is in this seven of wands energy that's moving away from this okay that's 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 putting on the hard boundaries here you are the individual that are that is taking your power back the devil only has power over you if you physically hand it over to him say here you go that's my power. You can take all of it. Enjoy. Have fun. I mean, I sure had fun with it. Uh-huh. But see, now, now someone has decided to take their power back and say, you know what? No more of this toxicity. I'm good. You enjoy. Have a good time. Enjoy your life. I'm going where my Ten of Cups is. I'm going where my heart is leading me towards. And you're not going to stop me. Seven of Wands. Let's look at the Seven of Cups, though, because this actually could be really destructive, could really be, could be really bad, could be really bad. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Yep, that's exactly what I thought. That's exactly what I thought. This is someone who is trying everything they possibly can. Shh, yikes everything that they possibly can to stop someone from moving forward. Seven of Cups is here, right? We have the Page of Swords, which can be, which is a very, which is an immature energy. I mean, it's the page, okay? So like all judgment aside, the page is not as mature as a knight or a king, point blank, all right? So there's no judgment there. But with that said, this feels like a very impetulant energy. An individual that's going to try everything they possibly can in order to get what they want. Even if it means stooping down to some levels that are less than morally sound. Five of Wands in reverse. Uh, you know, um, often the Five of Swords can be seen as uh, an energy of... Uh, um, achieving something or or receiving something whatnot at all costs right no matter what happens no matter who we have to cut down mow down gun down in the process to get what we want damn it we're gonna get what we want okay well the five of wands in reverse feels very much like that this is very egoic. Now, it's the Five of Wands in reverse because I don't feel like it's as destructive as the Five of Swords. <clears throat> if it's really all that destructive, it's 
humiliating to the person that acts in this way. It's um, a blow to someone's reputation. But that's just because someone seems to be uh, 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 acting out of some sort of extreme desperation. And again, doing everything they possibly can to get what they want. The Two of Cups is at the bottom of the deck here. Uh, whether this is a romantic relationship or not, it doesn't matter. It just seems there's some sort of bond or some sort of some sort of partnership that someone does not want to let go of. And again, they're, I keep hearing they fight. They're fighting tooth and nail. Like they're doing literally everything they possibly can. And that doesn't mean they're being nice. That doesn't mean that they're being. Um, no, they're they're stupid. To, they're stooping to some pretty low levels, you guys. Let's look at this Five of Wands in reverse. Let's go a little deeper. What is the Five of Wands in reverse here, please, Spirit? Oh, boy. Well, we do have death here. Yeah, so <laughs> something's changing. Something is transforming here. Tell me we have the Wheel of... No, we don't. I thought we had the Wheel of Fortune, but we don't. We have death. We have death with the Eight of Swords, the Two of Wands, and the Ace of Wands, um, and the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So uh, the long and short of it, guys, someone had a decision to make. Someone chose to go in a new direction, and thus something is coming to a close. Something is transform transforming, and I actually, this feels more, more like a person transforming than really a situation. Yes, a transformation, or, I'm sorry, a situation could be transforming as a, as a direct result of someone, someone's interpersonal, not interpersonal, someone's internal transformation. But then there's the other person that's fighting tooth and nail. They feel stuck. They may actually even feel abandoned by you. Um, I'm hearing things like, you were supposed to be my salvation. You were supposed to save me. You were supposed to help me. You were supposed to pull me out of the out of the depths, out of the trenches, blah, blah, blah. But see, here's the problem with that, guys. Because you can't save anyone other than your own self. Didn't I, didn't I mention that? Didn't I mention that part of this change in perspective here is someone saying, or someone realizing that they can't save another person? They can't change another person's life for them? They can't change someone's karma for them, right? And yet, you have this other person here who feels trapped because someone is walking away from them, someone is leaving them behind, someone is leaving the past behind here, and they're stuck holding the bag. The bag of currency they've been generating for themselves and hoping to rope you into with it, right? Kind of almost like a misery loves company type of energy. And it also kind of feels like this individual or whatever whatever this is, it felt like this individual was like, okay, yeah, yeah, I could use your help or, or saw some value in you, blah, blah, blah. But then, oh, it was, it was like a bait and switch type of energy. It's almost as if this person had um, an intention of keeping the cycle perpetuating between the two of you while you were under the impression that you were going to be working on it and trying to heal it and clean it up, but every chance they get, they sabotaged it just to keep the cycle going. They didn't really have, okay, so the long and sh so, 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 so I say all that to say, they didn't really have any sort of intentions of cleaning anything up, of changing anything, of healing anything. They wanted to be stuck with that attachment, that devil energy, right? We were talking about that with the five of cups in reverse here. And so now that someone has made a decision, has chose to go in a new direction and is transforming, transforming themselves, transforming their lives, transforming the karma that they've been cycling with, right? Or you, I guess it doesn't matter, whomever this is resonating for. They decided to go solo dolo, nine of pentacles. 
this other person is like, oh shit, I'm fucked now. That was the person that was supposed to help me out of this. Who's going to help me out of this now? I don't know. I don't know, buddy, but good luck. <laughs> good luck. Quite frankly, it ain't this person's problem any longer. Nine of whomever's in this nine of pentacles energy that's made a decision for themselves. Honey, it is not their problem any longer. With that said, then, I want to look at the Ten of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Yes? So let's look a little deeper into it. Because this is this person that's solo dolo here. Nine of Pentacles. Okay? The person that has decided to move on from this situation, realizing it's a lost cause, in essence. Just because the other person doesn't want to, or the other side of the equation doesn't want to cooperate or keep up their end of the bargain, keep up with the bargain that they made to begin with. You know what I mean? We were supposed to be healing this shit, not keeping it going. But that's fine. That's your decision. Ten of Cups, Knight of Cups. Knight of Wands and the King of Cups. Damn, yo. And the Six of Cups as well. Um, all right. So the Six of Cups is giving me a feeling of happiness and nostalgia. And the first thing that I heard with the Six of Cups was, look, I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy is the feeling that is coming from the Six of Cups energy. And so you have the Knight of Wands now with the King of Cups. Someone has been activated and someone is, is taking the higher road. Someone is being emotionally mature. And, and, and I, this is not to say that whatever decision that you're making to move in a different direction isn't painful, doesn't come with its own set of mourning, right? But ultimately, you know it's the right thing to do. King of Cups. King of Cups is emotionally mature. And is not the type of person that's going to play with someone's emotions. Absolutely not. So, we move on. Knight of Cups, Ten of Cups is clarified by, by Knight of Wands and the King of Cups. All right? Someone is being very emotionally mature here. Someone is being very, very emotionally mature. And, um, and look, it's easy for me to say that, but I need to make it clear. This is not an easy, this has not been an easy choice. This is very much a, and, 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 and okay, it might, it might be easy in the sense that now that you've made the decision, now that you understand what's going on, now that you know what you need to do, it's relieving to make the decision, sure. But this is very much a situation where doing the right thing is not comfortable, is not convenient, and isn't always agreeable, right? And yet, and yet, it is still relieving to pull yourself out of this. That I understand. <laughs> I understand that completely. Okay. Whew. All right. Okay. Let's get some closing advice from Spirit with the Tarot here, and then we'll close the reading out. And we're going to keep it with the Crystal Mandala deck, yeah? That sounds like fun. That sounds like fun skis. Crystal Mandala. All right, but closing, closing guidance, closing message, please, spirit. Final mess. Oh, well, would you look at that? Would you look at that? Overall energy is the Ace of Wands. Again. Very good. Okay, that's great. But looky here. Look who just look who joined the party. The Queen of Cups now. Okay, so the counterpart to the king. Um emotional compassion is key. Compassion is key. Understanding. Unconditional love. You might be in the quote right. 
I put that in air quotes because there literally is no such thing as right or wrong. Okay, it's all about a, a perspective and um, experience. Okay, there is no such thing as right or wrong. So whether you feel you're in the right, uh, whatever. And and to be honest, you probably are. You probably have. I mean, okay, you're probably quite justified, we'll say, in making this decision and moving forward. But you need to stay compassionate. You need to stay humble, and you need to stay understanding of the situation. You need to recognize that whomever it is you're leaving, you're moving on from, has their own things that they're dealing with has their own healing that they need to go through. Obviously, you know that. But whether they choose to do that healing or not, that is up to them. And I understand that they may have put you through the ringer here. I get it. And you're still human. Trust me. I'm human too. Y'all have seen me in some really resentful spaces, okay? We're all human here. But ultimately, compassion and understanding are necessary here. Especially since someone's taking the high road. Someone's being mature about this. Okay. You have that with. Ooh, the Empress. Oh my God. Shut the door. The Empress and the fucking King of Cups. You've got to be kidding me. Okay. So what this is also saying, you guys, is... Ooh, chow. Look at you. I mean, first of all, I feel like someone is moving forward towards a um a counterpart. You're aligning with a counterpart for sure in the near future. I mean, like King and Queen of Cups with the Empress man. That's really just saying to me whatever it is you're moving forward towards is going to lead you to the right relationship the right circumstance the right business partner whatever it is you're looking for i mean the the empress is here saying oh honey don't worry you, abundance has got you on lock okay don't you worry about a thing right um but i'm gonna be honest with you i feel like this king and queen of cups is one individual that has this king and queen, masculine, feminine balance going on. And I feel like it's it's the combination between empathy, unconditional love, compassion, and understanding with emotional maturity, emotional stability, willing to take action, willing to do what's right. It's this combination of energies within you that has gotten you to the point where you can where you can assess and you can say, okay, it's time to go in a new direction here. What do I do? And then you choose the option that serves your highest good, which ultimately is transformation, expansion, and growth. Or in other words, death. <laughs> right? Right? But you've reached that. This is that change in perspective we were talking about. There you go. Right there. There's that change in perspective for you. Which is allowing you to align with the abundance of the universe and say, you know what? My happiness does, in fact, can be found. Unfortunately, it won't be found here, but that's okay. There are infinite places to look. Gosh, that's beautiful. <laughs> All right, let's um, let's close this out and get our oracle guidance for today. Yeah. All right. All righty. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Let's close this reading out today with the crystal mandala and see what we get. There it is right there. 
Interesting. Sacred Ecosystem, card number 26, Ascended Master Kuthumi and Moss Agate. Beautiful card. Okay. <clears throat> we bring you the blessing of the sacred ecosystem. This is a gift of consciousness, I'm sorry, of conscious connection, supportive relationship, and magnetism which attracts to you the souls in need of your light. Where you once may have felt as though you were not in the right place, this blessing shall now rectify that. You are meant to belong and contribute freely to your true soul community. You are destined to feel as though you have found your way home and can attract and be attracted to those that can support you and benefit from your support too. As you let go of past rejection, of the belief you have to accomplish your divine life mission on your own or fight to have your place in the world, you will allow the power of the sacred ecosystem to transform your life. Your life purpose shall flourish and your experience of conscious connection with the world around you will heal your heart and soothe your soul. Mm. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you have a fantastic day and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye.